हेलो गाइस दिस इज एन पिचन वेलकम टू माय मैथमेटिक्स क्लास टुडे वी विल लर्न सर्कुलर परमोटेशन आई हैव टेकन दिस टॉपिक फ्रॉम ग्रेट ट्वेल वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सर्कुलर परमोटेशन मींस अ नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट अरेंजमेंट्स इन अ सर्कल ओके सो थ्योरम इज टुडे आल्सो आई हैव टेकन थ्योरम थ्योरम द टोटल नंबर ऑफ परमोटेशंस of a set of n objects arranged in a circle is factorial of n minus 1 so if we have a n objects we want to arrange in a circle then in a how many ways or uh, you can arrange then we can say we can arrange uh, n objects taken all at a time in a circle in a uh, factorial of n minus 1 ways or uh, n minus 1 factorial okay Uh, so I will firstly explain with one example. All right, then we will go through uh, this theorem. Uh, okay, let me make the background for theorem. Uh, suppose we have A, B, C, D. How many objects? A, B, C, D. We have four objects, right? So A, B, C, D. Okay. Let's suppose we have four objects, right? A, B, C, D, four objects. Now this is a circle. We want to arrange in a circle. Okay, so you can arrange first arrangement. You can do like this way: A, B, C, D. Okay, so this is the arrangement. Okay, first arrangement you can do like this way: A, B, C, D. Okay, A, B, C, D. This will be your first arrangement. First. First arrangement, A B C D. Now see here, you can read okay, A B C D. If you read like this, so B C D A also, C D A B also, or D A B also, or D A B C also, or A B C D O B C D. Right? So in how many ways you can read? Focus. A B C D one, B C D A two, C D A three. D A B C four in four ways you can read, but these four ways are not different. Okay, they are same, same or circular arrangement. Okay, for one circular arrangement, well, you can read. Okay, in four ways if there are four objects arranged in a circle. Okay, here are four objects, so in four ways you can read for single circular arrangement. Right. So here also in first line, let's come to uh, here. Here I have written same thing. Okay, let a one, a two, a three dot dot n. I have taken n objects because theorem uh, total number of set of n objects. That's why I have taken here n objects. Okay, these are objects. Okay, okay. Here n objects. A one, a two, a three dot dot a n. Be the objects arranged in a circle. Okay. Uh, n objects we have arranged in a circle. Then the arrangements a <coughs> a one a two a three dot dot a one one time you read and then a two a three dot dot a n a one second time and so on. Okay. Similarly, you can read for n times as I have told here. Right? Uh, are not distinguishable as I told you. Uh, a B C D or B C D A. They are not distinguishable because you are giving the names okay in different ways for single arrangement. All right, here either you can read this one A B C D B C D A or a C D A B. Okay, but all these uh, names represent the same uh, same okay arrangement, right? So that's why you okay, are not distinguishable. Okay. So these all, a one, a two, a three, n, and so on. Okay, right? Are not distinguishable. But if they are arranged in a straight line, now, now, okay. Here, okay, a, b, c, d. How many? Four. Okay, here are four. Uh, four objects are there in a single arrangement. As a, b, c, d. Okay, b, c, d, a, and uh, here. A uh, C D A B and one more is D A B C. Okay, so you can read in four ways. All right. Now suppose if all four objects 
we are raised in a row or in a straight line, then these four would have been different arrangements, right? Then we would have counted uh, four arrangements, one, two, three, four, okay? Then they would have been different arrangement in a circle. In a soil, in a line, or a in a row. All right. So what, uh, what thing? Okay, you came to know from here. We came to know from here one single arrangement, or from, or particularly from this example, one single arrangement, right? Of four single arrangement means single circular arrangement of four object gives rise to four. Okay. Four arrangements, four different arrangements in a row or in a straight line. If suppose if we have a five objects, then we will get single arrangement of five objects in a circle gives rise to five different arrangements, right? Five different arrangements we can get. The same line I have written here. But if they are arranged in a straight line, to each arrangement means okay single arrangement to each arrangement in a circle of n objects because here are n objects okay here are four objects so four means n objects there are n arrangements okay there are n arrangements in a line right or in a straight line or you can say in a row right so let's suppose we don't know how many uh, so now I think you understood okay up to here now we don't know how many uh, this type of arrangements are there right how many circular arrangements are there right so let's suppose okay see for the let's suppose or uh, we have x circular permutations right so here you understood uh, if they are arranged in a straight line to each arrangement in a circle of n objects there are n arrangements in a line so as I told you, there are four objects and uh, one arrangement of four objects uh, give rise, gives rise to four different arrangements in a line, straight line, right? So here, if we have a, an objects, uh, one circular permutation, uh, then we can form n uh, arrangements in a straight line, right? So let's suppose we don't know how many um, circular permutations we will get here. We have supposed let x okay. x be the circular permutations, right? x be the required number of permutations of n objects in a circle, right? In a circle, then x circular permutation give rise to x times n arrangements in a row. All right. Just uh, if we have a here x, if we say okay, x times four right here n objects uh, gives rise to means one circular permutation of n objects uh, right gives rise to uh, n arrangements in a row right so we will get to okay if we have a x circular arrangement then we will get okay x times n arrangements in a straight line okay and also okay also already we have done also n objects in a row or in a straight line can be arranged in n factorial ways already we have studied we have proved right uh, if we have all permutations of n objects taken all at a time is given by n factorial so from there we have uh, taken this one and then okay here x times n this is also total number of arrangements in a row or in a straight line uh, here n factorial by using direct formula uh, is also the number of arrangements in a row of n objects right so that's why they must be equal right they must be equal to each other so here therefore i've written here x times n is equal to n factorial okay so after that okay it's very easy or x is equal to n factorial upon n or just okay factorial we have expanded okay n into n minus 1 factorial upon n why we have expanded because in denominator we have n right so n will be cancelled out and we will get okay n minus 1 factorial x is equal to n minus 1 factorial x we have already supposed uh, required number of circular permutations right so therefore okay 
we got n minus 1 factorial or factorial n minus 1 we got the refined number of arrangements of n objects in a circle right so this is the proof okay we have proved uh, the total number of permutations of set of n objects arranged in a circle is n minus 1 factorial and last you can write on this line okay so this is the theorem Okay, this is the theorem of an objects uh, in a circle, right? Arrangements, uh, permutations of an objects in a circle. Mm, okay, now note, I have written here one, one thing, okay, which is okay, a little bit different, okay, here. Mm, if uh, the clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are not be taken, not to be taken as a different as in the case of the making a necklace or a bracelet of beads. Uh, listen to me, uh, everybody, very carefully, uh, while making the bracelet um, by using beads, different colored beads, or a, uh, or a necklace of different colored beads. At the time, okay, anti-clockwise, uh, uh, anti-clockwise arrangements and clockwise arrangements, right, are not distinguishable okay not distinguishable then what happened okay what happens okay if not distinguishable at the time okay then the total number of permutations okay we take uh, a half of n minus 1 factorial right total number of permutation is equal to at the time half of n minus 1 factorial okay mm, so i think now clear if not clear now i'm going to take one example right uh, I have okay. I'm going to take one example here. I've taken okay A, B, C. Okay, three A, B, C. Let's suppose this is uh, D. Okay, A, B, C, D. All right, A, B, C, D. Here, okay, I have represented okay A by this um, bead and B by this bead and C by this bead and D by this bead. Okay, now I have arranged okay. See, anti clockwise A, B, C, D. This one arrangement is your clockwise, and now A B C D. This is your anti-clockwise arrangement. Right? A B C D here clockwise. This one is A B C D and a clockwise here, right? A B C D we have used here also A B C D. What is the difference between them? Only one is okay from clockwise side, and another one is from anti-clockwise side, right? Mm, if B place a uh, any different objects in a round table, right? At the time, okay, they both are different, okay, to each other. And this is one arrangement, this is also another arrangement, okay. We will count two different arrangements, all right. But in case of the necklace or in case of uh, your uh, bracelet, uh, we, we count only half, right? We count only half means, okay, half of n minus one factorial. We count single arrangement, okay. Right? We don't consider them as a different arrangement. Let me explain. Okay, I have taken here one bangle. Right? This is one arrangement. Let's suppose here A here. Okay, A B C D. Right? And so an anti-clockwise direction means and uh, here uh, A B C D. Very carefully. Look at here. Very carefully, you can see here A B C here. A, here B, here C, and here D. This is, uh, okay, once again, okay, here A, here B, okay, and here C, here D. This is a bracelet. You may use, okay, this way also. Clear? Now, it will be your, okay, another arrangement, okay, right? Uh, if you see this one, clockwise arrangement, and if you turn like this way, then, okay, here, you will find out, okay, uh, anti-clockwise arrangements right but okay here uh, you uh, these arrangements are not distinguishable in a bangle or uh, in a bracelet or in a necklace <coughs> sorry uh, so that's why okay we use formula half of n minus one factory total arrangement in a circle upon two we use right so again once again let me recap okay if clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements in a circle are not distinguishable 
uh, right especially in case of bracelet or a necklace right um, at the time we use okay to find out the uh, number of arrangements right uh, half of n minus 1 factorial formula okay so all right now i think we'll get clear right so what is the formula uh, if not distinguishable anti clockwise and uh, clockwise uh, arrangements uh, half of n minus 1 factorial right half of factorial n minus 1 okay now i think uh, you are clear about this theorem now i will uh, make okay another video um, on the basis of the very important questions of circular arrangements okay uh, thank you very much bye bye